I'm Gunter with Many Mishaps, and today we are taking a look at the new setup for videos and a little paint job for Mandibark. Last time we worked on two of our Mandibarkian experiments and you can check out that video up here. The plan for today is we are going to paint Mandibark, uh, the mini that's been needing a paint job forever but now that we actually are building the whole lab we'll want to have Mandibark along for the ride as well. This is also going to be um, our sort of New Year's announcements kind of video as well. So we'll do uh, a little bit of that as well as we're going. So this is going to be the new format with the tiles and, and the different sections for the video. I didn't have to do a lot to get ready for this video. The miniature uh, is an official D&D miniature that actually broke. It had um, a flying base um, this one here. and uh, we had repaired the base by essentially using liquid plastic to glue down a pop bottle cap that would hold the flying part of the base. Uh, so that um, that we did in a plastic video a long time ago. I'll see if I can find it. Put it up there. Uh, and then between being sort of damaged and also being a perfect representation of our uh, character Mandibark, Dr. Mandibark, sorry, um, he got put in with um, miniatures that all got primed in another video. So he's been sitting around primed, ready to be painted for some time. Pretty easy paint job. Uh, the base is uh, gunmetal, so there's lots of that. I mean, there's a lot of surface area. And then uh, we did his uh, little weapon with gold. We had, I did a little teal for the gem that's on his chest. And then I did a um, neon pink for the hinges in the place between the joints and the metal. There was a painting video that Dana Howell did that I really like uh, where she painted up some uh, robots in non-traditional uh, colors for a Warhammer piece that she was doing. Loved it. I've always loved that that kind of gunmetal and uh, pink combination. So that was that. Uh, it was a pretty easy paint job, but I think it really turned out looking really cool. So my positive thought for the day is this is actually going to, I'm going to try and make this a part of the videos. If you know me at all, if you knew me last year, you know that when it comes to New Year's resolutions, I'm pretty much going to do all of them until they fall away. So I try and do as many New Year's resolutions as I can and uh, keep them to stick for as long as I can. And the channel is no different. Uh, it started as my sort of accountability to myself to create positive uh, content. You guys out there have been so supportive and wonderful and not too long ago I was having sort of a what is, am I doing, what is the channel doing, what direction should we take kind of a moment and I just posted to the discord for people to uh, help me brainstorm ideas and they came up with the Amanda Barkian lab and it was just an instant fix for my inspiration and being excited about projects and D&D &D and the channel again. So, positive thought for today is uh, if you're having a low, just ask the people around you to uh, uh, build you up a little bit. 
So, got to send out those thank yous to everybody in the Discord that were helping me uh, come up with the idea for Manabark's Lab. So, it really, really was uh, an awesome moment in the chat there. So, this video is dedicated to you guys. So, this video is brought to you by the Pirate Crew of the Iron Booty Codex. And this is a 15 page codex of uh, NPCs that are compatible with D&D 5e. Uh, it's available on DriveThruRPG uh, along with our other RPG materials. and. Uh, uh, one of our zanier entries has got a lot of a lot of crazy characters in that book, but uh, if you want to check that out, maybe it'll make a great digital stocking stuffer, and uh, we'll get back to the regular schedule program. So the project ideas part of the video is something that I'm doing for my own sanity. I know you guys are awesome in the Discord about ideas and, and some of you put comments on YouTube and we want always to uh, get access to those ideas and we want to hear from you guys. Um, but generally, I have more project ideas in my brain than I can even get down on paper, much less turn into projects and actually complete anything. So this part of the video moving forward will be sort of a sorting sanity for my brain. Uh, to kind of speak the project ideas that we're going to have and then have you guys uh, tell us in the comments or on the Discord which ones you like the best. So, for right now, uh, we are going to have this series uh, for the Mandibarkian Lab. We'll probably uh, do a promotional for the Iron Booty Codex. And around this time, I'm, I always have uh, one video for the unboxings and the mystery mail and the gifts and donations that come into the studio and send out thank yous for all those that come in around the holidays. Uh, and we, we do all that in one big video. We've already started. People have already been super generous. Uh, so we'll have that. We'll probably do a video where I go out the day after Christmas and hit up all the sales and try and get as many uh, really cheap um, crafting materials and miniatures and basically anything I can find for really cheap because the channel runs on really cheap. Uh, so that's the thing that we'll probably be doing. We have so much going on in the Gatherverse, so there is a ton of writing we could do for uh, RPG materials. I'm in graphic arts classes now, so uh, we can do Illustrator illustrations, uh, or we can try to do 3D printing and design. There's just there's so much that can come along with being a a crafting nerd. Um, I did put together the random box of unpainted minis that I think would be good for just drawing a random theme and painting a mini that way. And we have our uh, random roulette box of kit bashing parts. Uh, so if you like the kit bashing videos, let us know that too because um, those, both of those have the, the kind of boxes, the random ready to go bits uh, and pieces to be painted. So that's, um, I like the idea of random challenges, and uh, I have uh, Brett over at Goober Town Hobbies to thank for that. He got me thinking about doing challenges for the channel. We have got um, several options for doing role playing, either on the channel itself, or streaming, or um, doing our kind of session reviews, those kinds of things. This section's getting a lot longer than I want it to be. There's a few ideas. Let's, uh, let's move on. So our call to action section is 
usually going to be like and subscribe, uh, help us on Patreon if you have some extra dollars, or uh, you like the Iron Booty Codex is out on Drive to RPG, you can check it out there. Or uh, join us on the Discord and see what's happening in the virtual adventures, the story, collaborative storytelling that we have. There is a lot of actions we can call for. Um, today, I want you guys to put in the comments what you think of this format of video. Is it too long? Does it have too many sections? Do you like it? Uh, is it, you know, do you want more where you're not having to look at my face? Uh, do you like the time lapsing? I want to hear what you guys like. I want to hear what you guys like about this format and what you think we should adjust with it. Alright, it's the part you've all been waiting for. It is the completed and painted Mandabark. He's got a new body, a new skin. He's ready to take on the heroes. It looks fantastic. I love how he turned out. So, there you have it. That is our Mandabark painting. The Gatherverse community um, part of the videos, most everything we do, we're going to tie into the homebrew universe uh, because everything that we do, we want it to be useful in the games that we're playing. So, Mandabark in the Gatherverse started as a human scientist, got into experimenting with vampires, got sucked into uh, mech. Sort of cyborg universe where that's where he became downloadable and lost most of his um, biological body and got a cybernetic one uh, his first one and then um, came into this version of the world ready to sort of uh, be a villain he basically planted labs all over the continent and uh, has just had a long history with uh, fighting the heroes. So that's Mandabark in the Gettiverse. Alright, you guys have survived me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks internet.